Within the text of the Mahabharata, there are many crucial observations which help us make an accurate inference as to the moon phase during the Mahabharata war. The first crucial observation is the moonrise of the 14th night. I'm going to talk about this moonrise in this particular film. Let's ask two questions. Can we determine accurately that this moonrise did occur late at night, late in the 14th war? night. To answer that question, we have a host of observations before us from the Mahabharata text derived from the verses of the Mahabharata. The first of these is verse 42 of chapter 159. This is an eastern phase moonrise in the late night after the killing of Ghatotkach by Karna. Does this moon rise still leave us in any doubt as to the moon phase during the war? To answer this question, let's look at some more verses. Let's look at verse 49 in the same chapter. This verse 49 is really important because this verse 49 also says that this is a moon rise. And the moon really, to be honest, can only rise once in the night. Hence, this then becomes a late night moonrise. And a late night moonrise is a waning phase moonrise. Yatha chandro dayod bhuta Chubita sagaro bhavet Tatha chandro dayod bhuta Sabhubhuva balaranavaha The second part of this verse says that the moonrise at that time of the night caused a commotion in the ocean of soldiers. Then there is chapter Oh, 161 of Drone Parva, and we have the first verse of that particular chapter. What is that verse? Trivhagama Trisheshayam Ratriam Yuddha Mavartata Kurunam Pandavanam Cha Samrishthanam Vishampate. So, this is verse 1 of chapter 161 of Drone Parva. This clearly states that three fourths of the night was over at the time of recommencement of the fight between the Pandavas and the Kauravas on that uh, 14th war night, that is. Now let's come to uh, verse 25 of chapter uh, 159. What does that verse say? Tato vinidra vishranta chandrama sudhite punaha sansada ishya thyanyoyam swargaya kuru pandava. So this verse, as we can see now, clearly from the evidence of the verses I've given you before this, that is verse 42 of chapter 159, verse 49 of chapter 159, and then the first verse of chapter 161. Now, based on all those, this particular verse, which is verse 25 of chapter 159, becomes extremely clear and it can be interpreted. This is the point at which Arjun stops the war and then says that we will fight again when the moon rises and we've already demonstrated to you the verses which occur later on clearly point to a late night moon rise. So this means that the moon rise definitely occurred late at night. Now that I have shown you what the actual late night 14th night Mahindri Dig Alinkrata or eastern sky moon rise on the horizon looks like, let's come to the problem at hand. Some researchers have claimed that on the 14th Mahabharata war night, an earlier moonrise must have occurred in the pre-sunset hours, which was obscured by a dust storm. So they claim that there's a possible dust storm. And then they go on to say that the moonrise, which occurred around 2.20 a.m. in the early hours of the morning, was demonstrating the moon rising for a second time that night. Can this statement be true? or is it absolutely false and not adhering to the basic knowledge and principles of astronomy? Let's examine it. If the moon had risen eight hours earlier, but was hidden by a dust storm and showed itself only at 2.20 a.m. in the morning, it would never be seen in the eastern sky because that moon 
having already risen at the horizon around 5.30 p.m. before sunset in the east would have then traversed a long way across the sky in those nine hours to the western or Varuni dig or direction or the western part of the sky as shown in this graphic where the moon actually is supposed to set and not rise. This moon would be seen to the west of the overhead sky and not to the east as described in verse 42 of chapter 159. And nobody would describe this in so many separate verses as a moonrise in the eastern sky. In fact, it would be three hours away from setting. This proves that the 14th Warnite moon of the Mahabharata is a crescentic waning phase moon so that the last day of the war would be near an Amavasya and the first day of the war would be close to a full moon. The 10th and 14th night moonrises help in establishing the moon phase from the first day of Krishna's mission of peace right through to the last day of the war which is the 18th day of the war which would be on a Shravana Nakshatra and on an Amavasya or very close to it. This sequence of moon phases across the first day of Krishna's mission of peace right through to the last day of the war. This spans a long period of time across months is only corroborated in the war proposal of 3067 BC. Nobody else has ever been able to demonstrate a perfect corroboration like ours. And we can therefore confidently exclude an Amavasya start to the war. In fact, the first day of the war would be close to a full moon. Thanks for watching and I hope you have enjoyed this presentation.